is ended, and the conciliatory King Muhammad is in a meeting with the Queen to discuss terms. Oh, I have been waiting for this moment, Luis. Do you feel it? The tide shifting beneath us. Patience, Christopher. It will take some time for Isabella to entertain thoughts of spending money on you. I have been waiting six years for an answer from the Queen. If she cannot indulge me now, I will indulge other offers. Christopher, don't be foolish. We're close. We've been close for too long, Luis. It's now or never. Damn him. It's too soon to go begging for money from a war-weary monarch. Help! We need soldiers! Mobs are trying to burn the city down! Ezio, this is more Templar meddling.
I've got him. There he is. Wars never end abruptly, do they? They never end at all, Sanchez. It just appears that way when the body count is low. You have given us an advantage, and when we secure a mandate for Christopher's voyage, you will have given us hope as well. My understanding is still cloudy. Hope for what, exactly? Most men stoke their imagination of what lies beyond the ocean sea with stories of quick routes to Sipango and Catay. But Christopher's maps tell another tale. One the Templars know quite well. Legends of an intermediate land as large as our own. Another continent. A new world, Ezio. How are you holding up, Luis? My patience is thin. Torquemada has already dispatched an inquisitor to round up heretics for trial in Granada. Torquemada should be arrested for these abuses. Surely the Queen would side with you if the truth were exposed. No, she would never believe such charges. Torquemada has been Isabella's confessor since she was a young woman. Besides, it would be unwise to allow such turmoil to disrupt our plans for Christopha. Hold fast, gentlemen. I will try to calm this chaos.
Inquisitor soldiers are out in full force, meeting out blind punishments for invisible offenses. Ezio, find the Inquisitor in charge of this operation. Eliminate him when he is alone, in secret. Otherwise the violence will redouble, and we will lose our advantage. I must not be seen anywhere near this man's body. Patience. The more king live, Isabella's heart is not hard enough to do lasting good for Espania. When the time is right, I will give her counsel. Espania must be unified. One people, one faith. Until then, Thomas? Round up all who do not profess allegiance to the Pope and expel them. If they resist, you are free to do as you will. Yes, Thomas. God be with you. And you, Juan de Mario, may he guide your every step. Round up your best men and prepare for a sweep of the city. Sant'Angel, who is our guest? I am Ezio Auditore, a Florentine by birth and a wayfarer by trade. He is a friend, Queen Isabella. 
It was Ezio who brokered King Mohammed's surrender. Ezio Aratore, it seems the whole of Espana owes you a great debt. I wonder if Cristofo Corombo might profit a little from my royal largesse. I wish I could vivify his withering dream, but our funds are still scarce. Take comfort knowing that the King of France has made him a recent offer. He cannot be serious! Well, he certainly thought it was genuine. He left for Paris this morning. Oh, that fool! Ezio, he is still in great danger. I will find him. Bring him back here and tell him... Tell him the Queen has had a change of heart. I found him! Christopher, halt! You're in great... Do not interfere, Ezio. I've had quite enough counseling from your quarter. Yeah. There he is! Has the world gone so mad that a simple adventurer cannot go but a few weeks without being attacked in the street? Christopher, you are no simple adventurer. Unfortunately, only you and the King of France recognize this. King Charles hasn't the metal to back you. This is a Templar trick. Have you any proof of your outrageous claim? I don't need any. Sant'Angel has assured me that Isabella has had a change of heart. Oh, good God, how I loathe these games. Lead the way, Ezio. A fascinating proposal, Luis. And one I would gladly accept were Christopher to return. And return he has. 
What's the good news? Inspiring words and a few bags of coin have changed the Queen's mind. Prepare to set sail, Christopher. How many bags of coin did it require? Your friends have agreed to cover half the total costs, Christopher. Praise you, Luis, you fine and gracious man. Soon we will be praising you, my friend, for all the wonders you will find and report to the world. But let all rejoicing wait until we have seen your cross trees dip below the horizon. Yes, Saint Angel. Caution. Yours has saved me from myself more times than I should admit. Come, gentlemen. Let us celebrate!